the 2018 Commonwealth Innovation Forum. Brought to you by Destination Gold Coast. Matthew Ames is a board member for Hear and Say and also one of the keynote speakers at the Commonwealth Innovation Forum. Welcome, Matthew. Thank you, Anthony. What are you hoping to achieve from, uh, from being here and being a keynote at TCIF? Well, for me, I've been extraordinarily lucky over the last six years um, to be on the receiving end of some fantastic innovations in this space, which has helped me get back up and you know, running again, so to speak. So, you know, almost six years ago, I uh, became ill and ended up losing all of my arms and legs due to a uh, you know, infection. So. Uh, through that process, you know, I've really become aware of you know, the things that there are to prevent infections and also th the things that are available to you know, help me get my limbs back, so to speak, uh, and my hearing back. So my involvement today is really about you know, congratulating people on where we are now, but also saying we need to do a lot more. You know, there, is, uh, there are a lot of people who haven't been as lucky as me um, and haven't had access to what I've had. So, you know, if we can get that across the Commonwealth, um, that would be great, but also to, to push the boundaries and find new things. So you have a, a cochlear implant? Uh, yes, that's correct, yes. So, um, so I became profoundly deaf uh, due to the antibiotics they needed to give me to keep me alive um, because of the severity of my infection. So um, uh, on, on one, one side, so... I've got a cochlear implant on one side and a hearing aid on the other. Uh, so that's also you know, led me to be involved in Hear and Say, which is an organisation which, which helps uh, kids with their hearing uh, as well, um, from a cochlear perspective and others. So, um, so it's been wonderful to be able to, to uh, give back through them as well. And in addition to that, as you mentioned in your presentation, robotics has helped you enormously. In fact, you know, um, you're very mobile in terms of being um, wheelchair bound, but you have the ability, as we do, to, to hold a bottle of water as you, as you are now and to yes. shake somebody's hand. So robotics um, for you have been, has been incredibly beneficial for, um, for, for, uh, for life to be as best as it can be. Uh, yeah, no, it has. You know, I think um, I've reached a few world firsts. Uh, I'm the first person in the world to have all four limbs with um, bolts coming out the end of them. So uh, it's called osseointegration. So the bolts come out the end of my arms, which make a huge difference in my ability to utilise uh, prosthetics. So I think I'm also the only one in the world who wears prosthetics 24 hours a day on all four limbs. You know, I have, a, I have five sets of arms and two sets of legs. So... Um, so I put on my pyjamas and my sleeping legs and my sleeping arms, so it's, uh, uh, which, which helps me a lot. So, you know, there's, um, there's all sorts of uh, advantages that I never really um, expected to be available. So, The theme um, for this conference is about collaboration. How, what does collaboration uh, mean to you? Uh, it, it means the difference between success and failure, I think, for me. Uh, I have... My team is spread throughout Australia and throughout the world. Um, I've got uh, a team here in Brisbane. I've got a team in Melbourne. Uh, I've got experts and a team in Chicago. Uh, I've got people who've helped me in Texas and uh, Vienna and Sweden. So, um, so collaboration between all of those parties. Um, because I think the key thing is... Uh, understanding particularly in this space it's not necessarily about the science it's about the life you know we talk about life sciences but it's it's because of life and unless we collaborate it stays in the science bit and doesn't get to life so you know it's it's the goals that we're trying to achieve and the things that we need to do that require that collaboration um, otherwise it sits as a wonderful piece of science but it's not going to help anyone. Matthew how important is a form of this nature bringing uh, delegates from across the Commonwealth under one roof. I think it's it's critical. You know, as I mentioned, you know, I've learnt a lot from lots of different jurisdictions, and you know, I think the similar structures of, of government also uh, can help. Uh, I know that you know I'm involved in some sepsis awareness uh, uh, work with the Queensland government here, and you know, we've looked at the UK and uh, looked a lot of the information and taken a lot of the stuff that they've done. Uh, it, 
as an example of you know sharing uh, so you know i think the more that we can share with each other uh, i think the better you think that's one of the key priorities is is sharing because when you look at the diversity of of countries you've got developing countries and then you have others that have flourished for many years yeah and i think that's um i think that's a, a huge value you know i think one of the things i talked about was was some of the things we take a, take for granted here you know things like universal health care is something that as Australians, we take for granted, but it's not available for everyone in the Commonwealth. So, uh, you know, making sure that you know the great diversity and variety across the Commonwealth is is addressed, I think, is important. Do you think that the the general public have a, a good understanding, a good grasp of what um, life sciences innovation is? No. <laughs> uh, and is that one of the challenges, I guess? Uh, definitely, and I think that's really what I was talking about before: is that. Um, I think the general community understand the life piece, um, and I think it's it's our duty to take them on the journey with that. They don't need to necessarily understand the life piece, but understand sorry the the sciences piece, but helping them understand the importance of it to help everyone to continue their lives. I think is really where the connection piece is. You know, I, I don't profess to be an expert in a number of the things that I do, but hopefully I can bring a perspective of, you know, the value and the, the priorities. What, what do we really need to focus on? You know, what's important and um, how things can be a benefit to the community, I think is important. And I think it's important that the community have a voice in that. You know, it's not about telling everyone what it's all about. It's about listening to, you know, what do they need and and articulating how the life sciences can help achieve. How often do you get to tell your story in a public arena? Uh, I, I do it, it tends to be a bit sporadic, um, and uh, I'd probably do it a handful of times a year, So, uh, and it's really for things that I feel particularly passionate about. Uh, so... You know, it's uh, you know the last thing I want to do is stand up and tell my story over and over again for the rest of the lot my life. It'd be pretty uh, boring for me and those listening. But I think um, if I can uh, help bring awareness to some key things, then I think that's important. Although you, you've you've overcome so many obstacles, I mean, listening to you here at TCIF and your own story, and I guess the journey um, as a result of that. A lot of us wouldn't understand the challenges that you face on a day-to-day basis, but the fact that technology has helped you and your ability to share that and hopefully others can, can learn from that, I think is extraordinary in itself. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, for me, I wake up and keep breathing and do the most that I can. And I think, um, you know, I, I'm an uh, engineer by background, so I've always, you know, when I... When I've had a problem, I've had to solve it, you know, over the last few years, it's probably just been the problems have been more about me and finding the science or solutions that are going to work for me um, has really driven me to find those solutions. What would you like delegates to take away from this forum? Uh, I think the key for me is really about uh, pushing the boundaries of things that are particularly important to focus on um, you know, finding the solutions to those problems, um, engaging the community and you know the power brokers to be to make sure that those happen, um, and that's all going to happen through collaboration. So that would probably be my take out. Matthew, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Anthony. Have a great day.